So as I've been out talking to my neighbors, listening to them and hearing their concerns, one of the things that they want to see is that our basic infrastructure in District 1 is taken care of. People are talking about the need for street lights to feel safe, that the city maintains city, city, city property and mows the grass. So we feel neglected in a lot of ways by the city. And so one thing that I'll do is make sure that our basic infrastructure is taken care of. Secondly, people are talking about wanting a, to feel more connected to downtown both physically and in spirit. And my opponent and the council person before him have been talking about sidewalks. It's been eight years and nothing's been done on that. So we need a new perspective, someone who can think creatively and out of the box to make sure that we can find a safe way to connect us to downtown. And that'll probably be through our trail system, which I definitely think will improve the quality of life of District 1 residents. But then also in this process, I've met so many people across town, and as I've tried to describe to them where District 1 is, someone said to me, I didn't know there were neighborhoods between downtown and the mall. And that to me is an example of failed leadership, that we do not have a city council person who's going to other meetings and other city leaders to be a voice for the people in our neighborhood. Some people don't even know that we're a part of the city. So I will make sure that I am present at other city events and conversations that are happening around education and equity and health so that our district residents are always present at these, at these meetings. Three uh, projects for the, the neighborhoods of District 1. Uh, there are many uh, neighborhoods. We have a speeding problem in, South, in, in the city of Spartanburg. And many of the neighborhoods are look, requesting and looking for speed humps, speed bumps, if you call it, to help slow down traffic, and in some cases divert traffic away from the neighborhoods to the more uh, the wider, more uh, wide, uh, traffic-friendly uh, highways. Highway 29, W is a Boulevard, John B. White Boulevard. Uh, street lights are somewhere uh, something that we can approve to expand those. Uh, one of my main projects, my soapbox, if you will, has been since I was elected to enhance the walkability and on Highway 29, WOEZL Boulevard from the mall area into the city of Spartanburg downtown. We actually have a committee formed with the chamber that's working to develop from the AC Hotel, uh, widen that, clean it up, uh, and develop it. And, and Spartanburg, the oldest entrance in the city of Spartanburg is from the western down 29, back from Greenville in those days when that was the main highway. It's the only entrance into Spartanburg that does not have sidewalks, at least, or some walking capacity for our residents. The people you see walking on 29 and WSL Boulevard to and from early and late in the evenings are people who are going from work to and from and don't ride a bus and have no other way to do it. Many years ago, I used to jog and run up and down Highway 29, WSL Boulevard. Uh, it's called the Warren Abernathy Highway now, I think, my good friend Warren Abernathy. That's my probably my number one project to try to get done. It takes money, lots of money. I'm, more, I'm on the SPATS committee, Sparmer Gary Transportation Study Committee. I'm looking for money there. I have many friends in uh, Columbia in the legislature and uh, they are supportive in trying to help us find the money. We're talking about millions of dollars to do it. But it needs to be done just like we had to do body cameras and we did them for our police officers.